Doctor, we appreciate your time. Our subject is safe alternative to allergy shots. We were, you know, we, a lot of us as kids, we got allergy shots sometimes as frequently as once a week. Mm -hmm. There are alternatives now. Sublingual therapy, what is it? Sublingual immunotherapy is a specific form of immunotherapy by which, just like shots, we administer small amounts of antigen and increase those doses over time. The only difference is this is in the mouth rather than in a shot. So you, I think you've answered the question, how do you administer the drops? The drops are actually administered under the tongue. You place one drop under the tongue and allow it to dissolve there for about a minute and then you swallow. How does it work and is it safe? Uh, it works the same way as allergy shots do. Again, we start off at very low doses and build that dose up over time. And what that does immunologically is changes the way your immune system responds such that you make less allergic antibodies and less allergic mediators and that's what reduces your symptoms. As far as safety, it is very safe. There are some uh, possible side effects in the mouth. You can get itching in the mouth and sometimes some abdominal discomfort, but that's usually at much higher doses than what we typically use. Sublingual drops, are they as effective as uh, the traditional injections? They are comparable. Uh, they will certainly relieve symptoms. They will certainly reduce the need for the medications. And head-to-head -head studies, shots still have a slight advantage over the drops, but they are very comparable in their effects. Do they work for everyone? Unfortunately, they don't work for everyone, and that's true for any treatment, really. Um, first of all, you have to be allergic. Uh, if you don't have allergic symptoms, then the allergy drops won't work. Um, and there are a few people, very few, that they don't have positive effects on. You mentioned this briefly, but let's touch on it a little bit more in depth. Is the success rate different as opposed to allergy shots? It is slightly different. The drops, uh, again, will decrease symptoms and decrease the needs for medications very similarly to the way that shots do. The most studies uh, that have been conducted over the last several years show very comparable results, but in the few head-to-head -head studies that have been done, shots still have a slight advantage. How long does the effectiveness last as compared to shots to the injections? Those again are very comparable. The length of treatment is about the same, about three to five years. And then we expect if you're using the appropriate protocols and appropriate doses that you will get several months to several years of benefit after you finish. That's different for each patient, but we typically find that several years of improvement will last even after you've stopped your immunotherapy. Are there financial benefits attended to using drops as opposed to injections? There are. Uh, as far as the finances are concerned, in most cases they're almost equal. Uh, depending on your insurance, some may cover shots very well, some may not cover them at all. With regard to drops, insurance does not cover allergy drops, but the cost ends up being about the same in most cases. The other thing that you can benefit from financially is you're not having to go to a doctor's office, which will save you driving time and work time because the shot, the, excuse me, the drops are safe enough that they can be administered at home. Do you find a, a greater rate of compliance using uh, drops as opposed to shots? As a matter of fact, you do. In long-term studies looking at shots and drops, over time, about 50% of people will drop out as far as immunotherapy given with injections, whereas about 90% of people will complete a three to five year course of drops. Well, that's very significant. Mm -hmm. How do you find out if you're a candidate for drops versus shots? How do you, how do you learn if this works for you? Uh, basically, you seek out the uh, services of a board certified allergist and preferably someone who deals with drops and with shots. Uh, they will then review your history, uh, your exam, typically do some testing on you uh, to see if you truly are allergic, and then they'll discuss with you the pros and cons of each form of treatment. Very well. Doctor, thanks for your time. You're welcome.